Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Teresa and I am the owner of Seasons Best by Risa. And today, you guys, we will be unboxing my new printer. As you can see right here, I have the Epson ET8550 and I'm gonna be transforming it or converting it into a sublimation printer. So if you wanna see more, please stay tuned. okay you guys so now that the intro is out of the way <laughs> i'm just gonna tell you guys the rundown for today so this is my first time doing sublimation i've never done sublimation before so this is not gonna be a tutorial um it's pretty much gonna be an unboxing and i'm going to show you guys the process of converting a printer to a sublimation printer so based on my research the only thing that makes a printer a sublimation printer is the ink that is used inside the printer so pretty much i'm going to unbox this printer today and i'm going to change out the ink so i will not be using the ink that's come that came with the box or came with the printer today i'll be using cosmos ink so this is what cosmos ink looks like it comes in this really pretty box like it's super colorful and pink and look it matches my sweatshirts that i have behind me it's so cute but yes you guys i actually had bought um the hippo brand sublimation ink but then after doing some more research i heard um and i saw that a lot of people are recommending cosmos they say that this is the best ink the color is more vibrant and for me i'm starting this business off and i want to give my customers the best quality that there is so i went ahead i sent the hippo back and i ordered the cosmos so that's why i'm just now doing this unboxing i think i've had this printer now maybe about four or five days i, I got it on saturday this is wednesday however you guys i have been dying to unbox this printer but i said no i gotta wait on the ink because i have to record it and i want to show you guys when i record it and do the whole process so i have the regular four um for like what is it cymk ink yeah yeah cmyk ink and then for the epson 8550 it uses six inks with additional gray and photo black so i had to get that here's the gray and then here is the photo black so and then this is the up close of the regular and i'll show you guys what it looks like on the inside this is what they look like so pretty so yeah um that's what we're going to do today so just stay tuned and i'll show you guys the process that i am going through okay guys hey <laughs> so i went and got some scissors and yeah this is what the box looks like it is huge you guys i'm actually kind of hoping it's a little bit smaller um i'm hoping there's some padding in here because who it's huge but i'm super excited so let's get started gonna cut it open oh my gosh and you guys i got this printer on sale it was on amazon for 550 dollars because originally i was going to get the 15,000 epson eco tank 15,000 because it was for 550 when i tell you i saw this for 550 i was like i ran and swiped that car like so fast so if you guys are looking to get it um, it is on sale, just an FYI. Um, I don't know how long it's going to be on sale for, but, you know, you guys can take a look and see if you guys catch the sale. So, yeah, this is what it looks like. Okay. Okay, yeah, just as I thought, it's not as big because it does have the styrofoam. I was like, whew. So, um, it's probably the same length going to right here, but it's... Um, yeah it's just it's just not as thick but yeah um i'm gonna take this out the box well actually let me show you what's in there um i don't know what this is uh what is this I'm not sure what this is but it came with this and then i'm assuming that these are the driver the drives and the drivers yeah so i'm actually not going to use this my laptop does not have like a cd holder so I'm gonna download it from the website. So, and I'm thinking these, let's see, one second. 
yeah, I'm actually, let me take this out and then I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so these are the inks that it came with and the plug that it came with as well. Oh, <laughs> sorry. The plug that it came with and the inks. If you guys are using this printer for sublimation, please don't use these inks. Um, I don't know what you can use them for, honestly, but do not put them in this printer if you are planning on using this printer for sublimation. That I do know. These are not sublimation ink. They will not work. And from the research that I've done, I don't believe that you can use sublimation ink in this printer after you've used this ink in there. So if this is for sublimation, do not use the ink that it comes with, okay? But okay, guys, look how nice it looks. Oh my gosh, it's really small and compact and it fits on here really nicely. I just ordered this and I got this in and I was worried about the size, but it fits perfectly. So actually what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna um, take all this blue tape this blue tape off and then I'm gonna go ahead and start this baby up and yeah just follow along it's so pretty you guys and this is touchscreen as well this is a 4 by 4.3 inch and it's touchscreen Uh, it stays up really good and I'm assuming that's because it has so many compartments that can fly open so it stays up really well and then oh okay here is the scanner that I will not be using this is actually a really nice printer if it was a regular printer I'm assuming I guess I'll use this alone I'm not gonna mess with that but yeah if it was like if I was using it for a, re a regular printer this would be super nice to have but you know who knows if the business takes off <laughs> I might be able to purchase another one so yeah you guys shop seasons back by Lisa <laughs> Okay guys, I went ahead and opened this up because there is tape in here. So I just wanna let you guys know, don't forget the tape. It's taped up really well, so just make sure you get every tape that it comes with. I'm so excited, you guys. Like, I'm so excited for this new journey. I honestly never thought that I would be a business owner. <laughs> and it's so crazy to see, you know, the process and to be on this side, on this side of it, you know? So just me here rambling, but if you guys are thinking about starting that business, if you guys are able to, because I know not everybody is able to, but you know, I say go ahead, go for it, because at least then you could say you tried. You know, you won't be thinking about what if. You know that you tried, you know, if it didn't work out, it just didn't work out, but you tried. And, you know, when I started this business, that's literally what I said. I'm going to give it a shot, I'm going to give it my best shot. So, you know, whatever happens, at least I know that I did my best and I tried. Okay, I am honestly hoping. Oh, I'm going to get it ready. Okay, there you go. I'm honestly hoping I got all the blue tape, you guys. There's so much blue tape. It's crazy. Oh, you know what I heard? I heard that you can use this with a roll. So you can do continuous printing with a roll. I gotta do some more research on that to see how that works. But yeah, that's what I heard. Okay, you guys. So I just went ahead and I plugged it in because I think I got all the tape. Um, I hope I did. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and start it up. Ooh, okay. So I actually am gonna finish the setup process off camera just because i have to use my phone i'm gonna do it in the app so i won't be able to show you guys the setup process but honestly you guys <laughs> i don't know if you would want to see me set it up anyways because i am not a professional this is literally my first time doing this so yeah <laughs> i'm gonna just go ahead and set it up offline and then i'll see if i'll be able to record me putting the ink in there and then yeah we'll go from there all right, you guys, so don't hate me, but I had to go ahead and set the printer up without recording because I had to use my phone and it wouldn't let me use my phone and go back and forth between, you know, recording and setting up the printer. So I'm sorry, you guys. I had to do it. I had no other option. I didn't have another phone here to record with. But I will say that the process was very, very, very easy. Very easy. And the printer's all set up. The only thing, you guys, I don't own a printer of any kind of inkjet printer. So I also do not have any regular paper 
and I had to do a nozzle test. So I literally used a paper with something on it in order to do the nozzle check, but um, it's almost perfect. The magenta um, has a little missing part right there. So I'm gonna do the nozzle check again and then I'll let you guys know how it comes out. Uh-uh now y'all, the magenta is acting up. Like I've been having issues with the magenta this evening. Magenta, get it together, girl. Like listen, all the rest are perfect and you, you. But I don't feel like doing the print head run again because this is literally the same spot that was missing. And this says to check the pattern with a closer result. So uh, hopefully that's okay. Um, we're going to see. And if it's not okay, I'll just do another print head cleaning um, later on. But yeah, so we're going to go ahead and I'm going to do yes, okay. And then it says align print position to fix misalignment and banding. Okay, adjust. All right, so I'm gonna go through this and I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I had to put six um, A4 paper in here. I'll show you, actually, yeah, I'll show you guys. I had to put it in here. Y'all, please don't be like me. Get you some A4 plain paper. I'm over here reusing the one that's already been printed on. So yeah, don't be like me, but yeah, I'm gonna go through here and TikTok, well actually YouTube says to do premium matte. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. Cassette two, select the size and type of paper. Actually, no, let me go back. Plain paper is what's loaded at the moment. So yeah, okay, so close and then perform five types of alignment in order, load six sheets of Letter A for size plain paper in cassette two, done. So, okay. All right, print aligned patterns, one of five, print. All right, we're just gonna let it do its thing. And guys, I just wanted to show you as well. You could use an SD card, you could use a USB card. This thing is amazing, Ugh, I'm in love. But yeah, okay, I'll be back. I don't want to keep you guys just watching this thing print. So, but if you guys wanted to see how fast it prints, um, this is how it's going. This is the speed that it's going right now. Um, not very, you know, super duper fast, but if, for what I need it for, it's perfect. Okay, let's see what it says. So like the pattern that so shows no gap or dark line. Hmm. Okay, let me go through this and make sure I'm doing the right thing and I'll get back to you guys. Okay, you guys, so it took a while for the printer to align itself. So it finished doing that and now everything's set up on the printer itself, but I am now downloading the drivers and yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. So I'm getting that set up. I'm hoping, I have to go pick my son up in about 30 minutes. So I'm hoping to be done with everything so that I could do like a test print on the sublimation paper for you guys. So let's see if I can get that done, okay? But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys, I am in the process of downloading the drivers and right now it's asking me to update the um, printer. So that's what I'm going to do and I'm waiting on that to be done. So I finished the agreement, select options. So I'm setting up right now that I'm gonna do installations, check function and finish. So hopefully I can get that done. All right. Okay, you guys, so I think I have everything set up now. So we're gonna try and do a test print and see how it comes out. Y'all, why did nobody tell me 13 by 19 paper was so big? I'm using the HCV run sublimation paper. Again, I heard it's the best, so <laughs> this is what it looks like. But y'all, this is huge. Like, like, look at look at this. This is huge. It did not look this big online. But it says 13 by 19, so all right, let's see how it prints. Okay, guys, so I am back. I had to go pick my son up, so I couldn't finish printing. But I am back, and he wanted to say hello. I am back, and I figured out how to print. So I'm going to show you guys that before I end the video, okay? 
Okay, so I have my paper loaded and we're gonna get printing. Let's see how it comes out. Okay, the bottom just came out longer. Let's see if it'll pull it. And this is the design, well you can't see it, but it's like some gingerbread cups. Oh, okay, it's going, it's going, okay, okay. Okay. Let me get my son real quick, he's, nope. Don't go there, Papa. Okay. Okay, y'all, so it's printing, it's going. I'm super excited. Oh my gosh, I'm actually gonna press it. I'm gonna get my heat my heat press on. I'm gonna press it, but I'm not gonna press it on like an actual shirt because I don't wanna waste a shirt. So I'm gonna press it on maybe one of my old um, Christmas shirts that I had. And I'm gonna wait till tomorrow, wait the 24 hours that's required and see how it washes. I'm gonna wash and dry it and see how that comes out. So I will be back once it's printed and I'm going to turn my heat press on right now. Okay, you guys, so it is printing. It's coming out okay. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's like bleeding right here. And it might be, I don't know, it might be because I didn't use the ICC profiles. I was trying to see if I had to use those. So that might be the issue but i am still gonna press it onto the sweatshirt because i want to see how it washes so i'm gonna do that tonight and then in the meantime i'm gonna see what i can find out about the it bleeding you guys see like the smearing i'm gonna see what i can find out about that but yeah i'm just waiting on it to be done it does look really cute i'm not even gonna lie to you um besides the smearing <laughs> it looks really good and over here isn't smearing that bad, but here, I hope you guys can see this, but yeah, I'll be back. I'll be back when it's done and then I'll press it and let you guys know. Okay, you guys, so this is the final result. It actually looks pretty good. I'm not even gonna lie. Besides the bleeding, the colors look really good. Like it is um dark. I faded, I should say, but that's how sublimation works. The color gets activated with the heat. But I'm going to press it and let you guys um, see the results. Okay, you guys. So this is how it came out with me pressing it at 385 degrees and for 45 seconds. I definitely think I can get it brighter than this because I think I may have needed to press it a little bit longer. And then part of it wasn't on the press, so it didn't get pressed, obviously. But yeah, as you guys can see, the bleeding transfer, so I have to figure out what's going on with that. But I'm glad that it is working. It printed. I definitely think that if I had printed it a little bit longer, it would have came out much better. But work in progress. So this, I'm keeping this. We are going to wash it this time tomorrow and dry it. And then I'm going to see how it comes out because I want to test this. This is on 5050 gilding. So I do want to see how it washes. And in the meantime, I will be working on the color. But yeah, uh, that's it for the video, you guys. Let me know if you have any questions. And yeah, bye. Y'all, I think I figured it out. Look how much more vibrant it looks. Like, if you go back to the previous video that I showed you guys, where I showed you guys the transfer, it didn't look like this. And also, I figured out the... Um, the smudging of the bleeding so that's fixed and it's so much brighter so much more colorful like i'm so excited i'm gonna be pressing these tomorrow and testing them because like after 12 right now <laughs> i need to go to bed but i just wanted to show you guys like the quality and it's not smudging like you guys so that is a plus i'm super excited the color is amazing um this is how it looks using the icc profile the cosmos ink scent I didn't use it before because I was being lazy, but oh my gosh, look at the detail and the quality. Like, if y'all can't tell, I'm amazed. Like, I'm, I'm shook. I'm shook at So my hope is I'm already happy that it's not smudging. That's one of the issues I have to fix, and that's fixed. My other hope is that it printing out this vibrant will also transfer onto 
my sweatshirts when I press it tomorrow. So fingers crossed for that. And then also I do have one more issue. I have two more issues that I have to fix. One, I need it to be brighter on my sweatshirt. So I gotta figure that out. I'm hoping that based on how it looks right now, it will be brighter, fingers crossed. And the second thing is I'm experiencing scorching. Like whenever I press my items, they're coming out a little bit yellow. Like they're burnt so i need to figure out and i'm not doing it that high it's, i think it's on like 345 degrees for 35 seconds so i don't know if my heat press is just like inaccurate or it's just too hot or what because um the directions for um the htv run sublimation paper says i should use between 356 to 396 and i'm using 345 degrees and i'm experiencing scorching so i have to figure that out but I'm so happy that I figured out um, it's no longer um, bleeding. As you can see, it's actually pretty perfect, perfect, and it's a lot more vibrant. So yeah, now, um, if you guys have any questions, just let me know. Um, I'll give you guys an update probably later on this week, this weekend, when I get it figured out. I'm not going to say if, I'm going to say when I get it figured out. So I have to figure out, I have to get it a little bit brighter, and also I need to prevent scorching. So when I get that figured out, and your girl is up and running, because I'm hoping to be up and running with um these designs by the weekend because as you see there's some um new year's designs some valentine's day designs kind of want to do this christmas design before um the year is over and then i have a you know a god um or a christian design because you know i do want to veer more towards christian designs and these are just for testing i'm not going to do anything with these so i'm mostly going to be using these so i want to be up and running i have everything available and in stock on my site and on my tiktok store by saturday so i will give you guys an update when i get it figured out all right good night bye